All right, I just got back from um, the FEMA thing. I was called in to work at about 6 a.m. this morning uh, to take buses out so that we can get people because there's a hurricane um, coming along this way in Florida. Today is the 29th of, uh, 29th of August, and I think it's Irma, Emma, Ira, I, it, well, it's coming, okay. But here's my um, grapefruit tree. I don't know if you can see all this, but um, these are ruby red uh, grapefruit, and I know it's gonna happen. The storm's gonna come around and knock all that off. And over here, I have a, a lime, lemon lime tree with, you know, with lemons and limes on it. And I know that the storm is going to come knock that off. And over here, I do have a, a mango tree growing. You see it? It's mangoes. Okay, this is a mango tree. And, of course, over here, I have the banana, banana trees. And right there, I have a, um, that's a, uh, a pineapple plant's growing. Oh, yeah, and over here, it's in a pot right now, but it's going to be planted in the ground. This is um, a uh, avocado <laughs> tree. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have plants galore. But anyway, there's a storm coming this way. Everybody was fleeing the storm. And then we got this message that somebody put gas, I mean, diesel fuel inside the gasoline. So when people try to flee to get away from here, from, from the storm, the car is going to go kaput. And that's not good. And the, the thing is this. People ask, oh, are you scared? Are you going to run away? Are you going to go to Texas? Are you going to go to Georgia? No. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. I don't think so. That's my dog. I don't know if you can see her. She's gotten bigger. She's five months old now. She's a German Shepherd. And no, it's called trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways... Acknowledge him. And here's my hibiscus plant. <laughs> it looks pretty sad right now. These are hibiscus. Here the hibiscus. Like that. Hibiscus. Ah, uh, it's leaning over right now. I'm gonna have to put a string on it or something to bring it back this way. But in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Everybody's fleeing. Everybody's scared. Everybody's just running this way and that way and all. And the Lord says, what are you doing? At first, I was doing it. And the Lord says, don't. Don't do it. I know the skies look gray. That's my yard. I know the skies look gray and all that. And it looks, it looks bad. It's like it looks bad for the home team. But it's really not bad. You know, if you trust in the Lord, that's what gives you that calmness. My, my TVA on the bus, she was like, oh, you know, she kept telling me, oh, it's scary, it's scary. She kept going back and forth with the scary thing. Oh, Miss D is so scary, it's so scary. And, you know, she was really frightened. And I just said to myself, no, I just got to trust in God. Trust in the Lord. If not, you'll have thrombosis. If not, your heart would go da -da 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 and ready to, to kick the bucket. Because so many people are afraid. Now it's a category two. Now it's a category three. Oh my goodness. Ah. And you got all these people just run back and forth. The stores, at first I was going to the stores. Okay. I, I got some water. Okay. I got food and all that stuff. And, and here I am in the, in the frenzy of it. And the Lord says, uh, excuse me, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? you? You can't trust me to preserve your life? 
I've been trusting the Lord for a long time. Why, you know, that little bitty glitch right there, I had to drop it and, and ask him for forgiveness for me to trust in him. You trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Even if you have faith as big as a little teeny tiny mustard seed, you can move mountains, okay? And I realized that. So put your trust in the Lord and lean not into your own understanding. And she has gotten bigger. See if I can get her down here. My camera won't turn around. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will. That's goodness. Come here, goodness. Sit. Sit. Good girl. That's mommy's doggy. Now, I know she's probably dirty and nasty, but her black coat has finally come in and she got that shepherd look. You know, she, at first, she didn't have that look at the shepherd. You know, she looked like she was fond or something like this, but it all came in. And um, she is a good girl. She guards the house. She keeps me safe. The Lord did that for me. So I don't have to get no alarm system. See how the Lord just, ah, ah, get from over there. Come on. She knows how to poke. She knows how to put on the bricks too. But trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge who? Acknowledge God, Jesus Christ, and have the Holy Spirit in you, and he will direct your path. And tomorrow, I'm going right back out, doing the same thing again for FEMA. Uh, for the district here in Florida, in Tarpon Springs, to get these um, elderly people from their homes, the frail ones, the ones that are in the wheelchairs. I have a wheelchair bus. Yes, I can drive that too. <laughs> and um, to get them out of their homes and put them into shelters so they can be safe. The wind right now is picking up a little bit. And the skies are gray. It's, it's, there's no... Um, it's not ugly yet, but they said it's coming. It's coming. It's going to be really ugly. And so, you know, so all your ways acknowledge who, who Christ is. And I'm going to tell you how I come out of this. Uh, I have a small little house. You know, nothing, nothing dramatic. But I'm going to put my trust all in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no need for me to start running and running scared like other people do um uh, so i'm not going to do that i am not um going to be the one uh, to run scared you know um people just fleeing from florida and there's nothing to flee about and if you just keep your trust in him i keep going over and over that because people they get scared and you lean and depend on, on Christ. He's the one that's going to protect you. Okay? And I know there's a lot. You know, a lot of people don't like that. <coughs> so, this is my little house right here. Don't have very much. You know, it's just really small. I have pictures on the wall. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, yeah, I used to be a musher. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But anyway, let me see if we come out here to the front door. Let's see. Yeah. Here's my pants. Of course, you're in Florida. You got these big plants like this. Yeah, I got this all in my front yard. So, but anyway, and it's, it's, it's nice outside. I, I think it's like 87 degrees out here. It's warm. Um, there is no, um, it's my car. Okay. So nothing's happening now. Everything is going pretty good. So we're going to see what's going to happen after this. I'll see you guys later. Always put your trust in the Lord. The Potter.